I met one of the best knife defense experts in the world and asked him to demonstrate what the reality of knife defense really looks like since so many knife defense videos online are completely ridiculous. First of all, we looked at concealed knife attacks, the most dangerous area of edged weapons. When do you consider it a knife situation? And the right. standard answer for people who's not right. trained is when you see a knife, but you don't see a knife. Anybody can conceal a knife, but there's so many variations on, on tricky things. Even if I'm having it in my hand, things is moving around, it's a little bit dark, it's a little bit it's stressful right. and suddenly you have no idea if it's right. <laughs> That's so, death, right. so that it can go so fast. Right. And you don't have to be a Kali master to do that. You have to be aware about the distancing. If you grab for something, if it's in your pocket or in your yeah. jeans, if you That's put your it. hand there, maybe I consider to leave right. or, or maybe I'm just gonna make sure I'm not in front of whatever right. you're gonna mm -hmm. hold. Mm -hmm. If somebody put it on the back, I don't care mm -hmm. what you're doing on the back. If I don't know what's gonna be here, I, I don't wanna find right. out until I'm monitoring the situation. I then tried to attack him with a knife to see how he would respond. First like response, that. get out of the line if I can. All right. My intuitive feeling is when I see the hand, I want to kind of slash it. That's stupid, but that's no, no, that's, that's, that's clever. So. Nice. I'll try to slow striking. the arm down, and if there's nothing for me to work on, I'll try to slow you down right. as a person. Knife defense is just so hard. It is, it's it is. Like we have a couple of concepts, but I don't know how you're going to attack. I didn't do like super clean techniques, but right. I use the principles with you. Right. If I can get to some kind of checkpoint right. or just deflect that, yeah. if I can distract you so you're not so motivated to keep on doing, right. that's what we're kind of looking for. Right. Still, things can go very wrong anyhow, sure. so there's no guarantee. But again, it's a little bit easier when I have a little bit of awareness. You basically right. told me what right. you're going right. to do. Exactly. Right. Right, where right. I saw that there's a knife. Right. When you don't yeah. see that, it's so much more dangerous and uh, you have to practice in a totally different it, mindset. Then I asked Johan to show how he would defend against a knife with a stick, since he is also an expert of Kali, aka Filipino martial arts. First yeah. of all, it could be a stick, could be an umbrella. I'm, I'm yeah. going to... Oh, sorry, I'm just <laughs> already like, I'm like, I'm terrified. It, it's a really bad idea. But yeah. I would have the same approach like I had with a knife. See, if I right. can move, I'm going to start hitting that. So I, I don't have to engage with being in this range. Or if I can't reach that, well, I'll it. probably try to keep you away. If I have a space, I would move and smack that hand mm -hmm. until you don't want to use it or until you drop yeah. it. If I mm -hmm. cannot move, or maybe this is a door or this is my house, so I can't move away, yeah. I will defend and I will try to get rid of it before oh you God. actually can do anything. I will cover up so you don't reach anything. I will try to block so, one way or another and try right. to get to the outside and now I start smacking and Damn. get rid of that one. Wow. Right now you're going light, right? Yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> I yes. dropped that, right? You keep smacking until the knife is gone. I felt it. There yeah. was a bit of a numbness going through my hands. Yes, so again, no guarantee. It could be substance and we all react differently. That's why I would like to be over here. Even if I'm not ah. knocking it out. So it's going so to be, I'm trying thing. to get this one first. Right. Teaching police officers, maybe start to go for the leg. If I, out of a civilian perspective, I would right. probably just try to knock you out. But again, sometimes you hit people lightly in the head and they're gone. And sometimes people get a full you power hit and you don't know. There is a police officer who was telling that story. There was a person who was psychotic and he cut out chunks of his arm. There were bits and pieces missing, yeah. but he said he was still like full power, just grabbing yeah. and pushing it. Yeah. You wouldn't expect that, but I guess people under adrenaline or something. You never know. If I do this, uh, there's a chance you will be knocked out, but I don't take it for granted. Right. And uh, when we practice, we need to practice with that in mind. Quick announcement. If you'd like to see five different martial arts YouTubers compete against each other in various self-defense challenges, check out the Ultimate Self-Defense Championship crowdfunding by clicking the link in the description. I then asked Johan to show how he would defend against an unarmed attack using a knife himself. And to handle if I want to win I will probably not address this you're not May showing the knife in probably not depends on if I want to set you up for failure mm. or if the uh, intention is to stay away yeah. I might show we tell you this is going to be a bad idea but again mm. if some are on substances it's right. not always logic it's mm -hmm. easy to say I'm doing this and the other person right. gonna do that we never yeah. know so I don't want to have that grab and I, I try oh. to avoid it yeah so and nice. I don't want to go to jail, so I'm sure. just stopping here right now. Well, that's interesting. Okay. That's possible without killing me. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. And that's oh. when I go to jail. And that's uh, wartime. Yeah, that's <laughs> wartime. Do. I heard the theory that generally if somebody shows you a knife, the tendency is they are not intending it to use it. It's more for threatening. But if they're planning to use it, most likely they're going to conceal. Do you think there's truth to that? It or? is. I have access to surveillance cameras footage, mm -hmm. which police is uh, having sometimes. Somebody intend to use a knife. They don't even show you anything. Right, they just not address right? and then, and then they go there. Dead. The only thing to deal with that is awareness. But sometimes people come from the back. There's no defense if yeah. somebody's just stabbing you yeah, from the back. But 
you have to understand when you are in neighborhoods or in an environment where there are people like that, sometimes you can feel it, yeah, sometimes you have no idea. If you are in a bad neighborhood or you know there's a lot of criminals right. and stuff, if you turn your back and just walk like it's a regular ice cream day, it's yeah. a bad idea. I reflected that when Johan did his techniques, it was difficult for me to keep attacking. That's what I would try to accomplish by right. throwing things at you. But after a while, practicing, you will be used to that. As long as I'm not knock you out, but no guarantee. Mm. When you're stressed and you start to punch, you're not yeah. always doing your best. It's sure. going to be depending on the level of stress and how you cope mm -hmm. with that. If you are familiar with being punched, you mm -hmm. can might still have a concept. Yeah, it's, it's not shit, but I need to do that so I can right. get rid of that guy. Then I fought Johan <laughs> knife versus knife. You're bleeding, you're bleeding, you're bleeding. <coughs> That's a tactic too, right? It is. Slash your arm two times. And you brought my attention to it, yeah, right? Yeah, because it might be that I don't even notice. Because right. you're so stressed. Yeah, the so adrenaline. You're... And you practice that too, right? Yeah. I think one of the flaws behind some of the self-defense systems, it's just technique. But yeah. there's no scenario practice where you talk. We work a lot before, during, and after. There's a build-up. It's not going to be like we're here. Sometimes you just get that gut feeling. Oh, okay, something weird with that guy or that little gang over there actually pointing at you and talking. Mm -hmm. Okay, something is not right here. Right. You need to prepare prepare yourself, that's mm -hmm. more important than the left over right. Yeah. And when somebody's approaching you, you can't avoid it. Now, okay, now I need to be ready. But I already start to make a plan. Okay, you got your knife, I got my knife. There's an exit there, it's gonna be hard to get over there. Can I keep your distance? Is that exit available mm -hmm. or isn't it? Right. Or maybe two of your friends is over there, so there's not an option either. Right. But if I'm not ready for right. that, it will never happen. Mm -hmm. If I just do stuff and start to run, mm -hmm. I might run into more trouble. You were very much clear about keeping distance. Because you have point. a space. Carly, we call that Largo Mano. If I can be on the range where you don't reach me, but I still have a target. Any I'm going here because you can't reach anything vital here, right. but you don't always have a space. If I don't have a space, I have to lock you up so you can't right. use your knife ah. because I have to win. I'll make sure I'm getting rid of that one. Is it common or not for people to switch? Depend on how much stress and pressure you can add. It's so about the initiative. If you punch me first with knife or no knife, right. you have initiative. And if I let you punch and just defend, it's, it's right. okay, but you still have that initiative. Mm. So even if I cover up, up, but you still have that pressure on my forearms and if you can keep punching you still maintain that yeah. initiative I need to to change that try to reverse it or find some kind of distraction right. or get out mm -hmm. of that line and then try to recharge or re mm -hmm. rethink a new strategy right. but it's about the initiative if you want to see how I tested Aikido's knife defense techniques click on this video right here thank you for watching and keep owning your journey